Today, President Biden spoke by phone to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, warning once again about a new Israeli assault on the city of Rafah in Gaza. Also today, Secretary of State Antony Blinken left Washington for his latest trip to the region. Blinken is expected into Israel Tuesday. It will be his seventh visit since the war began in October. CBS's Deborah Pata is in East Jerusalem tonight with the very latest. Deborah. Good evening. There is a flurry of diplomatic activity in this region this week in a last ditch effort to revive ceasefire talks and secure a hostage deal ahead of a possible ground offensive in the southern Gaza city of Rafa. The pressure is mounting on Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Anger over the government's failure to bring their loved ones home has spilled onto the streets as demonstrators have stepped up their protests, which more than once have ended in scuffles with police. Prioritizing a hostage deal over the rougher offensive has exposed cracks in Netanyahu's coalition government. The release of the hostages is our first priority, said Foreign Minister Israel Katz, adding that would mean deferring an offensive in Rafah, where more than 1.4 million Palestinians are sheltering, a move vehemently opposed by Israel's more hawkish right-wing faction. With the threat of a full-scale offensive hanging over Rafah, people here keep asking, where will they go? Much of Gaza lies in ruin. The destruction on such a scale, it is uninhabitable. And there is nowhere safe to run to. This little boy and his eldest sister are beside themselves with grief. They've already lost their mother. Now their father's been taken too. My brother is just six years old, Zain al Raith screams. He's an orphan. How do I raise him? The staggeringly high civilian death toll in Gaza has sparked nationwide protests at American universities, which have not gone unnoticed by students in Rafah, whose education came to an abrupt halt with the war. They no longer have walls to spray graffiti on, instead showing their gratitude on the tents they now call home. Aid groups have warned that an invasion of Rafa would worsen the already desperate humanitarian situation in Gaza, Jerika, where famine looms. Deborah Pata reporting in East Jerusalem. Thank you.